Well, at one barbecue joint, they're singing the blues every single week. It's home to one of the most popular underground music scenes hmm. in the metro. Unfortunately, folks could soon have a new reason to sing the blues there. If some members of the neighborhood get their way, Fox 9's Maury Glover is outside of Bayport Barbecue with the details tonight. Maury, what's the beef here? Well, first we stepped inside because it's a little chilly out there. But secondly, you can see the uh, wall here is covered with artists who have performed here at Bayport Barbecue. But at the end of the year, this family-run juke joint will be turning down the music for good. Walking into Bayport Barbecue is like taking a trip to the Deep South. We do Texas-style barbecue, and uh, very few places in the Twin Cities or the Midwest do a real Texas pit smoke barbecue. But the hundreds of musicians who stop in on a regular basis aren't the only ones here singing the blues. That live blues music and stuff going on almost changes the flavor of the food, because you, you get that kind of feel that you're down south. It's unfortunate if, that, they can, that they have to stop or that they choose to stop because it's too much of a hassle. Since it opened five years ago, this so-called deep blues juke joint has served up a steady stream of alternative blues artists from legendary acts like Leo Bud Welch to local musicians like Johnny V. But about a year ago, it started to get complaints from neighbors in the city about the noise. So owner Chris Johnson decided to permanently pull the plug. Mixed emotions with the music. I'm sad to, to end that, but uh, uh, I'm excited that the, the restaurant's doing well and, and uh, uh, something we're able to do as a family, give my kids work experience while they go through high school. And, uh, it's a it's a great place. Holy moly! You know we aren't for everyone. And since the restaurant appeared on diners, drive-ins, and dives with Guy Fieri this summer, Johnson's barbecue business has been booming. Our restaurant's done well, and we're so busy with the food that I need the time. You know, this is just my wife and myself, my kids, and uh, so not doing the live music, I'll have more time to focus on just running the business. But even without the music, customers say they'll still have an appetite for their favorite barbecue place. The food isn't going to change. No. Absolutely. <laughs> as long as he's cooking, yeah. <laughs> Now, those live shows will continue here until the end of the year, and I can tell you firsthand they won't have any problem keeping customers after that because the barbecue is that good. Guys, back to you. <laughs> All the